Right, hi there again. Uh, welcome back to the Ginger Turner. Um, plenty of time on our hands at the moment, as we all know, with this horrid virus going around. So, um, going to do a bit more in the shed. I'm in isolation for the 12 weeks uh, due to my uh, low immune system. So, I'm in the high risk category, but we're all keeping safe. Not going out, everything's been delivered, so uh, spending more time in the shed, really. So, today, uh, we're gonna, or I'm gonna have a go at um, a little, a little dish, little bowl. I've got some uh, sycamore, which is um, 150 mil, six inches round by 40 mil, which is just over an inch and a half. Um, I'm gonna do it a bit different, well, not different, um, different sorts of finishing on it watching a bit of Pinterest and a bit of YouTube and uh, sort of combined a couple of bits together but basically I think I'm going to put um, a ring a mini put around here well three or four rings actually um, I've seen uh, Jim Overton again who I was mentioned in other videos do something similar and it was a, a black ring a white ring and then a fancy bit in the middle and another um, white ring and a black ring and it really cool I thought I'd give that so we'll have a probably about uh, an inch of um, rim on the top um, the middle bit when holidays I might put some gold leaf in for a change I haven't done gold leaf in for a while I've got some here so I thought send that as well so I could buy that in the middle possibly Things can change as we know when we're going along, but that's the plan at the moment. And then the back will obviously be dished, and I might use some of the um, coloured embellishing wax from um, my, uh, Sabian Smith, Martin Sabian Smith. Um, I bought it from the show a few years ago, a um, few colours, and what it does, it just, especially with sycamore, it's got a lovely grain in sycamore, and it really brings out the grain so it helps to um, highlight it all got different colours blue purple yellow white black grey but we'll see what it takes me yeah fancy at the time that's going to be it guys so a nice dish shape at the back or bowl shape if you like uh, embellishing wax uh, mini put rings around the edge and a gold leaf middle uh, it's going to take a few days to do it because obviously mini put I'm going to do about probably three stages of mini put, which um, you have to, I, well, you don't have to allow 24 hours in between each one, but I like to because I've done a bit early before now and it's cracked and fell out. And, but there's no rush. While that's drying, I can make a pen on another chuck or something, or even might even do some housework. You never know, guys. Anyway, enjoy the video and um, I'll see you at the end. Cheers, guys.
Right, okay guys. So, um, that's the basic shape. Nice gentle bowl shaped curve on there. Put a little um, step on there. A little um, ledge for it to sit on. Or to sit on across the whole face. Um, logo will go in there. These are my new discs I bought, which are blank at the moment. Um, still waiting for uh, the wife to engrave those for me on her machine. But uh, she'll get around to it. She's with me so uh, for the 12 weeks, so um, plenty of time. I'll stick it on her list. So that'll fit in there nicely. Uh, recess for me chuck. And we spin him round. So it's down to the sander now. I'll just give it a couple of more... Um, cuts with a shear scrape off camera a little bit of tear out but I think that should all sound out now so we'll go 120, 180, 240, 320 probably 400 um, probably Yorkshire grit, Yorkshire microfine which takes it up to about mm, about a thousand grit I think but that goes for all the grits, Yorkshire grit is uh, takes all the um, extra um, Sanding out of it from sort of 320 to 900 in one paste. It's really good stuff. Um, yeah, so we'll get on with the sanding and we'll see what he's like. Okay, so that's all done now. Uh, I used a bit of 80 in the end on the edge. It was a bit of tear out, so I went back through the grits again. So I'm with 80, so I went 120. That's sorted out of now. That's like a baby's bum. Right, I'm going to put some um, Yorkshire grit now uh, to get it right up to that phase in grit. And then um, probably microfine. And then we'll put the um, embellishing wax on, see what he looks like. Right, so that's up with um, Yorkshire Grit um, Original and then um, Yorkshire Grit Microfine. So that's the equivalent of about a thousand grit now and that is absolutely like glass. I don't know if you can see, I'll zoom you in a little bit. The glare off a bit. But that is... And that's just, that's just Yorkshire, there's no polish or anything on there yet. That's just Yorkshire grit. The grits and then Yorkshire grit. Is that better? The shine is amazing, guys. So, we're going to try the um, embellishing wax now. So, because I'm going to put probably black and white mini put, I think. I thought I'd try the black. So there we are, that's it, embellishing wax, Hampshire sheen, um, basically just rub it in and then um, polish it off. So we'll do that now and what you'll see it brings up the highlights or the grain. I don't need to black them before so it's the first time for me. Rub it right in. And it just highlights. I thought it would look quite nice with the um, if I use the black and white um, mini put, especially with the gold as well on the inside. If I do the gold leaf, still not sure about that yet, but we'll have a rethink about that when we uh, turn him round. 
So we just put, you can see already it brings up that, that grain. Rub it all in really well. So we've got some on the bottom as well, it's all round. Yeah, you can see already that's just how that has brought up all that grain. There you go. So that's all rubbed in. Get a clean cloth now and um, buff him up. So back in the jaws now, expansion hold in that recess. Get this nice and square. Uh, mark some markings where we're going to put the um, the rim, and then we'll um, hollow out the rest of the bowl, and then have a play with the muddy put. Okay, so um, that's the bowl hollowed out. I might go a little bit more. Don't want much more of the depth. I'm about where I want to be, really. The last thing you want to do is go through the bottom, and trust me, I've done that before. But not on this one. Uh, so we're going to mix some milli put now. Uh, I'm not sure what colours I've got yet, so it might not be white, but uh, we'll have a look what we got. And I'm going to do probably a... Black either side, and then a white, in, and then leave a little gap for maybe another colour. But like I say, I'm going to do the black first, cut that, and then all could I do black and white together? I'm not sure, I'm going to think about it. Anyway, first thing first, I'm going to get off the lathe, keep it on the chuck, because you want to keep it running centre, so leave it on the chuck as always, just take the chuck off. Uh, sort out some milli put, put it in, and that's today's done.
Right, okay. So it's the next day now. So it's had about, um, I don't know, 12 hours probably. That's fine. Rock hard. So you're going to skim it back, level. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Let's say it might fall out. The mini put was really old. Right, that's all nicely cut back. So we're level with the top now. A little bit of tear out there, but that's fine. Yeah, that's, well, <laughs> yeah. So I have got a little bit of white uh, mini put left, which is rock hard again, but I can tip that in the microwave. So I'm gonna make another band now. I'm gonna put a band Cut into there, cut into there to define the inside of those two colours. And then uh, mix some white milli put and uh, press that into the inner groove. So you should end up with three bands of um, colour. That's, actually, that's sounding pretty good, considering. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to uh, make a little groove to define those. And then um, Fill in mini put and then <laughs> that'll be it for today because it's gonna wait again for it to but tomorrow we can come back and finish it all then with a gold leaf as well if I still decide to do the gold leaf. I think I am at the moment. Right, I'll see you in a sec. Okay then, right, next day again, day three of the project, but it's what needs to be done. So the whites, rock hard now. So same as before, we'll mount it up, back on the lathe, back on
Okay, so that's it all done. I'll sand it up to um, 320. Plenty, it's a nice finish on that there. Slight, I use a uh, solid with 80 grit in the middle. There's a little bit of tear out, which you can't, well, I don't know if you can see that. It's just in there, but it's fine. It's The gold leaf's going to be on there anyway. So that's what we're going to do now, do the gold leaf. I've only done this once before, so it's still a learning curve for me. I watched a couple of videos yesterday of a guy called uh, John Clovier. With a lot of gold leaf in. Um, I have met him at um, UKIS, real nice guy. Sorry, not UKIS, uh, I was Maker Central uh, last year. Yeah, real nice guy. Give me a few tips on gold leafing, where to source it from. Um, this isn't uh, 24 karat leaf, this is imitation gold, but John seemed to think that it was um, good enough to begin with until we get a bit more practice and then. Um, you know, and to be honest, the piece I did before, um, you couldn't tell it wasn't. So, first things first is, I'm going to put some size in, which is the adhesive. So we've got a little pot there. Just put a little bit in. Don't need a lot. And then get a little brush, which is a little brush. And um, basically, where you put the size is where the leaf sticks to. So I just want it sort of under that rim. I can always, if it goes over the top, don't worry, because I can just sand that bit off. And I don't really want it on that top limb, rim of wood. So stick it on. say it's a learning curb I've already got some on that um, top rim but that's fine I can soon um, give that a quick sand because it's still on the check so it's all going to run through when I um, put him back on I'm not too worried going to get that size in there Don't want to miss any because the gold leaf won't stick. So we're going to leave that for 20 minutes. And um, when it's the whiteness has sort of gone out of the size and it goes sort of like sellotape tacky, that sort of tackiness. We'll dab on the gold leaf and then um, see what happens. I think that's pretty well covered now. I say I've probably got it a little bit on that rim in places, but we'll deal with that at the end. Okay, so we'll leave that now for uh, 20 minutes. Wash me brush. Don't need that. And then um, we'll put in the gold leaf. Okay, so gold leaf time. That's had about half an hour now. See the difference, I guess. It's just just tacky. So what we need. So the gold leaf. It's really cheap, actually. I'll show you that. Okay, there's about. I think there was. A hundred sheets for like a tenner, maybe not even a tenner. Good old eBay. And it is like, well, if you can imagine tin foil, it's about probably about a tenth of the thickness of thin foil. It is like wisps. That's just, and it, so I'm just going to pop it in and just push it in with my brush don't worry if it rips you can tear bits off it's quite you know way as you can see that's just me talking blue that so 
See with that bit stuck on there look, where I had the size, but that's fine. A little bit of a um, pile of um, shavings, if you like, for bits like this. Just bits that have come off other the other project I did. We're just those bits up there. Okay, there we are. Old leaf all done. I'm going to put it back on the lathe now and I'll try and um, to sand these bits where the size went over the rim. Not going to touch that with sandpaper but we will put some um, finish on it. I think it's safe to put um, sand and sealer and then a polish. Hopefully it'll all stay on and then um, We'll put it on the buffing wheel, buff them all up, and uh, I'll see you at the end, guys. Here we are at the end. Um, yeah, pleased with this. A um, few little sort of um, bits I could have got better, probably, if I'd been a bit picky, which I do uh, tend to find I'm a bit uh, picky on myself, where other things it's fine, but you'll probably all know you would turn as it, uh, you know, it's got to be right, and it it's 95% there. So there we go, it's still on about six inches. I didn't take hardly anything off the diameter and it's just over an inch and a half depth. So you can see the mini put worked out quite well. The three lines didn't think it would, I thought it might all fall out at one time. And you can see the gold leaf as well. It's um, a little bit sort of came off as I was polishing. Uh, I probably shouldn't have used the um, wire wool when I was cutting it back after the first coat of sand as you look at a bit sort of caught. But um, it it looks it looks like it's distressed if you like. So it's not obviously solid gold as in um, all over. There's little bits of imperfections on it. But I think actually that looks quite nice. And knowingly I didn't mean to do it like that. But the, in, um, the imperfect of it is that uh, turned out quite nice. So uh, the Weiss managed to do my new logos on our machine. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully. Got to go a bit deeper on the next one. But um, I'll leave that bit to her. So yeah, there we go guys. So I, I need some more mini put because I'm out already. I'm out again. But I think source that online. Um, obviously, Maker Central has been cancelled this year, which was due um, second or third of May, I think it was, due to this horrid uh, virus we got going around. But um, it'll be back next year, which uh, I'm sure a lot of other events will be as well. So thank you for watching, guys, and uh, stay safe all. Ride this storm, and we'll be back to normal. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.